after the topic of what are the important points of a properties which we studied earlier that is independent of past history and exact differential and here it's a point function not depend upon the path the process will take now the next topic which we are going to study is what is the state of a system i am commonly use the word state of a system state of a system now what is this meaning of a state of a system the state of a system tells us what is the condition of system when you are studying any system at present its condition condition means if i am saying what is the condition what is the pressure of this what is the volume of that system mass of the system energy of the system so these all things are the state of a system if i if i am saying if i have to define my location right suppose if i am i am working in some hyderabad so if i want to know my exact location i have to give you the address the that uh, lane number that flat number each and everything i have to give to find the my state of my state my condition of where i am staying so state of a system is that same thing what are the different properties which we need to define a state we need to define a state of a system such that what is the pressure of that system what is the volume is energy so these all parameters which when i told someone that this is the parameters of a system so he can say okay that is the state of a system at present so state of a system is the condition of a system which can be defined only with the help of properties any state of a system is defined with the help of properties properties it may be intensive it may be extensive you can also say that the pressure is 5 bar your volume is 1 meter cube that your density is so much so that property may be extensive may be intensive so the properties are required to define the state of a system right as long as the property of a system remains unchanged i am saying that if this marker the density of this marker is some x kg per meter cube if i am saying this is the density of this marker as long as this property will not change in this marker the state of this marker will not change right if any property of a system is remain unchanged the property of a system remain unchanged then the state is fixed right so at equilibrium if i am saying at an any equilibrium point the all the properties will remain unchanged then only we can say that that state is fixed and we can mark it on a pv coordinate or any other coordinates we can mark it now we want to know what are the conditions for defining the state i have to define the state of a system right i have to define that this is the pressure this is the volume this is the density so what are the all the conditions which i required to define that state of a system the first important condition is that properties must be uniform right properties must be uniform as long as the properties will not be uniform throughout the system if i am saying if i am heat if i am going to heat this marker from here so i am saying the temperature near to this flame near to the uh this at this point will be more and slowly it will transmit it will transfer to this end so as long as there is a temperature gradient in this marker i am not saying that this marker is at is at this state to to define the state of this marker or if i am saying to define the temperature of this marker the temperature must be uniform throughout this marker the pressure must be uniform throughout this marker there must not be any gradient in between this system within this system there must not be any gradient so first important condition to define the state of a system is properties must be uniform and second one is that the system is in equilibrium with the surrounding that this system must be in equilibrium with the surrounding so if i am saying that temperature of this marker is 50 degree celsius and i am defining this state of this marker so it means that the surrounding that the surrounding temperature must be 50 degree celsius if the surrounding temperature is more than 50 degree celsius say 60 degree celsius then this temperature the temperature of this marker will continuously changing because of some heat transfer so to define the state of a system your system must be in equilibrium with surrounding and in that case when your system is in equilibrium with the surrounding there is no 
energy transfer there is no mass transfer nothing can happen and at that point that system is known as your dead state that system is dead it is not able to do any work not able to give any energy not able to take any energy so that system is like a dead body that it will not perform any function if it is the condition that your that system is in equilibrium with the surrounding then only you can say that this is the state of a system and to define the state of a system our system must be in a dead state so these are the two conditions which we require to define the state of a system next we are going to study is your gibbs face rule there is a one rule which is given by gibbs to define what is this degree of freedom that first of all i write this gibbs face rule your gibbs face rule is p plus f is equal to c plus 2 where p stands for your face number of face present in the system like solid liquid gas how much faces are present c is your components how many number of components uh, different different components may be present in the system f is your degree of freedom now the important top point is important point which we are going to study is what is the meaning of this degree of freedom degree of freedom is i am highlighting the more important important words degree of freedom is minimum number of independent intensive properties required to define the state of a system suppose if i am saying let this is the some beaker suppose this is some beaker in this some air is filled i filled it with this air there are n number of properties of this gas it has some pressure temperature density mass volume entropy enthalpy energy thermal conductivity viscosity lot of properties are there in this air this air has a n number of infinite number of properties but to define the state of this bar to define the state of this beaker i cannot define all the properties i cannot say that pressure is this much density is this much so i cannot define all the properties here n number of properties are there i cannot define it's not possible for me to define the all the properties at this point i want that some properties if i say in this case if i say let i am only defining pressure and temperature that would be enough for me to define this state rest of the properties are depending upon the pressure and temperature so degree of freedom tells us what is the minimum what is the minimum number of properties which properties independent independent means these these properties are not depending upon any other property so minimum number of independent intensive intensive we already studied intensive means independent of mass so minimum number of intensive independent properties required to define the state of this system is known as degree of freedom so this is the formula of degree of freedom we want to define the state of this system suppose i am taking this example suppose this is a container in which i filled o2 gas some oxygen gas i am i filled here so phase present here is only one that is gas o2 is in gaseous phase component is only o2 one component if i put p is equal to 1 c is equal to 1 here i am saying that the degree of freedom will be 2 what is the meaning of this degree of freedom 2 the meaning of this degree of freedom 2 is that if i define if i define two independent intensive property for this beaker i can define all the other properties with the help of pressure and temperature suppose i am only defining that at this condition pressure is 5 bar temperature is some suppose suppose 300 kelvin these two are intensive properties we already studied pressure is a intensive property and temperature is also a intensive property if i defined these two properties here with the help of these two properties i can define any property which are dependent upon the pressure and temperature this is the meaning of this degree of freedom 2 degree of freedom 2 means only two independent intensive properties are required to define the state of this o2 this system right if i am taking this example suppose this is a beaker in which i have water in liquid form 
I have steam in gaseous form. So in this case, my phase is two, one is gas, one is liquid. Component is same, here also water, here also water. Components are same, so component is one. If I put P is equal to two and C is equal to one in this formula, I am getting degree of freedom is equal to one. Degree of freedom is equal to one means only one property, if I define, if I define only pressure here, no need to define temperature. If I define only one independent, extensive, independent, intensive property here, this pressure is enough to define the state of the system. With the help of this pressure, I can define temperature, volume, enthalpy, entropy, any properties I can define with the help of this pressure. Right. Next example I am taking. Suppose in this container, I have all the three phases of water present. This is ice, solid phase, steam, gaseous phase, water, liquid phase. I have all the three phases present. So your phase is three. Component is one, water only. If I put in the Gibbs phase rule formula, I am getting degree of freedom is equal to zero. Degree of freedom is equal to zero means there is no independent intensive property required to define the state of a system. To define the state of this kind of system, we do not require any property. Means this type of system is a fixed system. If I am saying at any point, if all the three phases of water, all the three phases of water are present. So this system is only, this system is a fixed state. This is only possible at a def, at a fixed pressure, fixed temperature, it cannot change. So this point has a degree of freedom zero means there is no intensive independent properties required to define this state. So the it is a fixed state and this fixed state, this type of example, this type of state is known as your triple point of water. This, this, this state at which all the three phases, all the three phases of water are existing, that point is known as your triple point. So triple point is a fixed point at, at a fixed pressure, temperature, volume, this triple point will exist. So there is no need to define any property here. So triple point, triple point is that point at which all the three phases are present. Or you can say triple point is that point at which all the three phases can coexist, can coexist. I am saying, I am not saying must coexist. I am saying they may exist or they may not exist. Suppose what is what the meaning of this can coexist? What is the meaning of this? If I is, suppose if I have 9 kg of ice, 3 kg of water and 1 kg of steam, I have all the three phase present with me. These are the masses which I have which I have and I put all the three, all the three phase in one beaker at triple point. So these three can coexist at this point at some pressure and volume if I kept this this uh, ice water and steam at a fixed pressure and temperature then at that point all the three phases can coexist so this is the triple point and if I am saying only 9 kg of ice and 1 kg of steam I have only solid phase and gas phase if I put this mass, this ice and steam at a triple point, so they can coexist together, right? There will not be any liquid, no need to be liquid. So these can be present at your triple point. So they may exist, may not exist. So at triple point, all the three phases can coexist simultaneously. Now at triple point, most important is only one phase can be present. I am saying that suppose some pressure, say some pressure which is hypothetically I am taking pressure 200 bar, temperature some 400 Kelvin. This is the, this is the triple point, fixed point of any material, say anything. So at this pressure and at this temperature, only one phase can present, two phase can present or all the three phase can present. 
तो दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ योर ट्रिपल पॉइंट नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज योर क्रिटिकल पॉइंट वन मोर पॉइंट विच वी गोइंग टू स्टडी इन थर्मोडाइनॉमिक्स इज क्रिटिकल पॉइंट क्रिटिकल पॉइंट इज दैट पॉइंट एट विच योर लिक्विड फेस विल डायरेक्टली कन्वर्ट इन टू गैसियस फेस विदाउट टेकिंग एनी हीट सपोज आई हैव अ वॉटर आई हैव अ वॉटर इन अ ग्लास आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट दैट लिक्विड इन टू स्टीम आई हैव टू गिव समीट टू इट एंड वॉटर विल बॉयल वॉटर विल कन्वर्ट इन टू गैस बट क्रिटिकल पॉइंट इज दैट पॉइंट एट विच दिस वॉटर विल चेंज इन टू लिक इन टू गैस विदाउट टेकिंग एनी हीट इफ यू पुट वॉटर एट दैट प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर इट विल डायरेक्टली इट विल डायरेक्टली फ्लैश इज इन टू लिक्विड इन टू गैस देर इज नो नीड फॉर एनी हीट सो दैट पॉइंट इज नॉन एज क्रिटिकल पॉइंट इन विच लिक्विड इज डायरेक्टली फ्लैश इज इन टू गैसियस विदाउट टेकिंग एनी हीट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट विच आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू इज रिगार्डिंग क्रिटिकल पॉइंट इज दैट डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम एट क्रिटिकल पॉइंट इज नॉट डिफाइंड we cannot define the degree of freedom at critical point why because as we know that degree of freedom we want to know what is the phase present at that point but at critical point we are not sure whether it is liquid or gas because liquid is completely flashes into gaseous so at critical point your phase is not fixed your phase is not defined and if your phase is not defined because liquid is directly flashes into liquid, gaseous if your phase is not defined you cannot define the degree of freedom so this is the important point regarding critical point that degree of freedom is not defined for a critical point while the degree of freedom for a triple point is zero degree of freedom for a triple point is zero it is a fixed point and no need to define any properties in this case so this is the whole concept about your degree of freedom minimum number of intensive independent properties required to define the state of a system and with the help of these minimum number of intensive independent properties if you you can be able to just calculate all the other properties to define all the other properties that is the meaning of your degree of freedom